Hey guys, it's Alex here from Computer Headquarters, and this video is the final unboxing video of the Artesian Builds bankruptcy auction. Man, I'm having a hard time like labeling what to say things are at this point because it's getting so confusing. There are two different Artesian Builds auction lots that we won, and then within those each one, there were four different truckloads. And so this is the last truckload. And on the last truckload, I decided that it would be cool or fun to see what you guys think about opening every box with you. Those videos, these videos are really long, so I decided to split that into two videos. And this is the final video of opening the boxes. So just wanted to put a little context before we start opening the boxes. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. We're back. Another pallet. Let's go. Uh, this one was inside. It's the first pallet we brought inside because it looks from a glance to have a bunch of like good parts maybe, but sometimes it looks that way and you start digging through it and it's not as good as you think it is, right? So um, Sometimes you know the boxes are all empty. Oh We got a we got a good streamer. We got a streamer guys streamer streamer. I don't know how you pronounce that I think they were trying to say streamer, but is it streamer? 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 A streamer? You're on video. Hey, welcome to the video, Kyle. Uh, yeah, you want a streamer? The... Yeah, hey, look, look, look. So this is pin. all good. This feels... Yeah, this but this all is here. two, eight, ten, not three. Oh. So this stuff is all not empty. That's sealed. That's all this is brand new. Wow. Oh, um, 30 UTI? Yeah, let's see. Is there something... This is empty. Oh. Dang. Yeah, that's an empty box. Ooh, uh, please don't be empty. Oh, it feels empty. No? Mm -hmm. See me. It's sealed. It's sealed! Nice. Z590 Apex, because it's Maximus 13. Correct. Yep. So that's very nice. Uh, what's in here? What could be in here? So this is the uh, white artesian tape, which means... I don't think it means anything. Alright, so there is a case. Just a case. It's a whatever this is. Oh, I opened it upside down. Well, they put it on the pallet upside down. So it's a mini. O11 dynamic mini, and it's white. It's a snow snow edition or whatever. Does that say that on here? No, it's white. Just white. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna start stacking this stuff over here. This is glasses. Glasses. <laughs> Why would they say glasses? There are, there are no glasses. It's missing glass. <laughs> I don't know why they say glasses. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna stick my hand. No, it's it's like a brand new case, just missing the glass. I bet you they are uh, etching the side panel. The good news is we have, a, this is an XL, right? Yeah, we have a bunch of XL glass. So we can just make that good really quick. Quick and easy. Ooh, what's this? Go away, go away. Go away. Okay. What is in this box? This is heavy. Something was like breaking. What, what? is that? Water? water it's yeah. literally a water. pack of water. <laughs> Come on. Yep, water. Who puts a water case? Free water, yay. And then like, this is stupid also. Just, I mean, we'll drink it. Don't get me wrong. It's just, oh, I just broke that. Shipping water all the way from North Carolina is just stupid for waste of money. What's this? I'm curious. Oh, wow. That's a um, that's, uh, battery on stuff. Okay. Huh, look at that. Loner GPU. Loner GPU, yeah, that's weird. Uh, let's see. Let me just pop off. Empty. Empty. This feels full. Cool. Yeah, okay, that's good. Aisle. Some gloves, sweet. Gloves, yeah, those are actually good gloves. We will, we will use those. Power. Oh, that's a fire starter. 
So we gotta give that to James to send back the gigabyte. Um, this just looks like a bunch of packaging. Pretty much trash. So. <laughs> Try to <get> here. <laughs> I felt so dirty right there. Uh, wait, I think I saw a CPU in here. You did? Maybe. I, I saw a tray. Hey, thermal paste. Yeah, thermal paste. Um, saw a you did see a CPU tray, but there's no CPU in it, huh? Yeah, no. Okay. Worth, worth checking. Yep. Okay, what's in here? This says giveaway PC. Interesting. Well, I would say whatever this giveaway PC is, it wasn't expensive. Because look, V5, that's like their worst CPU cooler, a B560 motherboard, a 550 watt power supply. They definitely did not go all out on their giveaway computer. So, sorry, I'm going to throw these over here. And then it's literally shaped the same size as the box. Yay! Okay, so this should theoretically be an entire build. And I'm guessing we'll fi have to find out later. It's funny, if we actually did like every little detail in this video, this could be like a 20 hour video. Yep. You know, oh, let's check the CPU on every box. There's so much stuff. Yep, I see Instapack right here. Yeah, so I'm just guessing it's probably like an i5. Yeah, probably. Probably 11, or sorry, yeah, 11 400F or something. And it probably has like a 1660. So, good build. I mean, nothing to complain about. But... Look at that missing glass. Let's check it out. We have this guy. Smells. Yeah, it's missing glass. Okay. All right, I'm going to put this stuff over here. All right, this one has missing glass. Okay. Is that Fantex? Yep. Okay. Yep. I don't know if we're gonna end up finding a bunch of Fantex class, but oh, I'm struggling. Preco one, interesting. Huh, there's more RAM in there. It's okay. Um, let's start up here. We got. Oh, this is cool. It's like a brand new mount. Sweet. Um, uh, maybe we'll use it. I think this is a four way mount. So Ooh. we actually use stuff like this for our testing. Um, maybe we'll make a, a. We were thinking about making eight test benches for a video card testing, but we could probably do 12 with that. Uh, let's see. We got a Corsair box here that has been re that is an empty box. It weighs nothing. There's not even a case in here. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's empty. I don't know what's going on with this. I, I think it's going to be an empty box with empty boxes inside. That's my guess. Oh. Oh, empty box, empty box. Yeah. This is just trash. That was unfortunate. So that's on it. Oh, 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 look at that. And it's empty. That's empty too? Yeah. Okay. Quite I'm going to put this off on the side. Okay. And that's empty too. Okay, what do we got in here? 
This does have a build number on the side. Oh, this is weird. Whoa, hairpin assortment. Whoa. That was not what I was expecting. Look at all these zip tie things. That's real. Motherboard's in there. Uh, empty. That is heavy. Cotton mop. Cool. MP360. Clipboards. Hey, we we actually we made these. <laughs> Yay for clipboards. Uh, that's real. It's, yeah, it's open. Okay, you want to put that over and that stock over there? This is empty. Are you sure that's full? Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, it's trash. Yeah, right? Hey, he's gone. Uh, we got yeah. some more tape. It's not our fusion build branded. Yeah, uh, so that box was filled with uh, junk. Okay. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> it's like a tool kit or something. It's trash. This is a mounting kit for a CPU thing. There's a power cable. No, it's a VGA cable. Okay, this is all trash. Can warmers! Hey! There we go. That's what we need right now in 80 degree weather. So, you want a mop? Cotton mop. Yo, yo, uh, Yokata? It's made by Yokata. <laughs> Yomata. It's made by Yomata. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this in that pile, and this looked like pretty much all the crap. There are a bunch of like weird D rings. Oh yeah. And then what are these? I don't know. What... Oh, they're like little stands. I mean, to me, it's pretty much all trash. I'll let Ray take a look through them and see if that's something that he would want. Uh, empty bubble mailers. Yeah, the whole thing. Okay, so this is just packaging. Ray, Ray will use these. We use bubble mailers, so that's not too bad. Whoa. Okay, this is weird. I don't know why, but my first impression of this box is that we've already opened this before. I think it's because we've literally seen all of these products so many times. So there's actually RAM in here. Yeah, what is going on with this? There's a video card down there. So... Yeah. That looks like a 30 series card right there. Yeah. I uh, mean, nothing here has RMA stickers on it. A bunch of power supplies. 3060 twin. I think this is just an empty CPU box with a Ray Stealth. Just the, just the right stuff. Well, I mean, I guess we'll just give all this stuff to James to let him test it. What's in the mystery box? Tape. Tape? What the heck? Huh. So weird. That's like uh, a different type of tape. I think it's for like um, electronic repair. Yes. Oh. Another video card. I feel like this is the one that went to that, remember that loaner? Yes. Yeah. Right here. Loaner GPU. 588 gig. Yeah. Well, Sweet. we'll make if we sell it, if it's good, we'll have the box to go with it. Cool. We'll have to go through all this shit. Stuff. Stuff. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Alright, uh, so that will take outside with the other RMA and stuff. I like how this side up and then it's not. It's a pre built. Someone's in all directions. Um, this feels light. Yeah. Whoa. What are these? Bags? 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 Right. I don't know what they are. This one? Is that an empty box? That is, double check. That is a definitely an empty box. There's another empty box. Weird. Really, really weird. Mostly trash.
Oh, wow. Power supplies. Cool. Brand new. Sweet. Okay, so we're done with this pallet. We've made a bunch of extra mess. And this one, you actually check it was actually missing in the yeah. last? Yeah, yeah, on the right side, yeah. Okay. So, there wasn't that much good stuff in there, unfortunately. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. But we did make a bunch of space. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Space, you mean also a mess. So, yeah. All right, let's go. Come on down, guys. I'm coming. Follow me. Oh, it's a squirt. So I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Um, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more boxes for us to try to find the RAM. The RAM is actually the majority of the value of the whole lot that we bought. And we have not seen yet. So I'm hoping we're going to find a box that's going to be filled with the RAM. So we're going to have to take this one off. We've had our lunch and I did a little bit of work off camera. Um, this whole pallet is now empty. It was all builds. So we took all the builds out of the boxes and the, bo the builds are in there. And none of them were really exciting. Um, they're nice, but there were matrix cases with Z5 Andy motherboards and probably like i5 10600K or I'm just guessing. Uh, and they all had like 3060 Ti's and 3070's. So nice computers, but they're not like 12900K crazy stuff. Um, this, I'm really hoping these three boxes are all of the RAM, because these two boxes right here we've checked and it's all power supplies, and the really expensive part of this whole lot is actually the RAM. So if it's not in these three boxes, we actually have a problem, and it means that there was some sort of highway robbery that happened with the truck on the way over here, um, or something with the location, but I'm pretty sure there's some RAM in this box because I peeked into it earlier. Uh, okay, wait, maybe it's power supplies? Uh, it's the two. Let's see here. There's yes. keyboards, there's a motherboard. Motherboard. Uh, 3216, oh yeah, right there. This is RAM? Oh, PNY. You said you saw something that said RAM on it? Yeah. Oh, right here. Uh, oh, yeah, eight bytes. So these are 16 gig kits of RAM. That's great, okay. Well, wow, that's a lot of them. So I'm going to, how are we gonna do this? I guess I'm gonna try to move the power supplies onto a different pallet and these, all these plastic bins can go into the storage lockers. Oh, oh hey, little uh, artesian build like magnet things. <laughs> oh, a lot of motherboards here. Motherboards. Oh, like keyboards and motherboards. Okay. Yep. Motherboards. These look, they, it's funny because they look new, but they don't have a, a box. Plastic stuff, plastic stuff, mm, trees. Okay, so, well that's weird. That, so that, this is an SSD train, it's empty. That's not a good sign. I don't know why that would be like that. I don't like that. Okay, so this is all RAM. And they opened some of the boxes. I wonder if everything's 16 gig kits or if there's some 32 gig kits. 16 uh, gig. Sixteen. 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 Oops, sorry, Derek. Okay, so we'll take these out. Gonna drop this. So hopefully this box is filled with RAM. Prank. 
that is what I'm praying to the what, PC gods. Uh, they don't have video cards. Whoa. Okay, so that's good. Also, oh, RAM. Okay. Right. Sweet. So, I'm really hoping the next box though is, so it's like this box right here. There are supposed to be like 30 boxes like this and look what's inside. Oh, T-Force. T-Force RGB. Delta RGB. I think yeah. they're all like gig sticks. 16 gig sticks. Wait, I don't know if it's if they mean 16 gig kit. Oh yeah, I cut it. Oh, I can just read it from the side. 16 gig sticks. So that's nice. Two, uh, 16, 16 gig sticks per box. So there should be a lot more. Ooh. Hopefully. Nocto D15s. And these are non-RGB. Here's more. Here's some more RAM. Nothing special though, 16 gig on RGB. But yeah, video cards, that's good. Some CPU coolers, that's not as sexy. Just race stealth and stuff. CPU coolers, okay. What are these? 24 pin RGB cables. Like kind of like streamer knockoff or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like 2060s. I think we just need to move this whole box because these all just need to get put away and put up for sale. Ooh. So good colors, very good. You know what, Derek? You can cut the video and you can go for it. All right. So this is literally, I think this is literally the last box that could have the RAM in it. All of the like 20 boxes of RAM. And if it's not in here, I'm gonna be a little bit worried. I'm worried, confused, whatever you want to call it. Oh. Okay, so we're good. So uh, I was I was worried because this is, like I said, this is like a lot of the money was in these these RAM kits. Wow. Um, if you look at how much RAM there was when I made my bid, it was just like, you know, if these are all full, which I think they are, it's 16 sticks per. They're all 16 gig sticks, and there's 16 sticks per box, and there are one, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, so six per stack. And that's one, two, three, four. Four stacks there, and there's actually more down here. It's about five, five. So, uh, five times, that's 30. 30, yeah. So 30 times 16. Viking. All right, have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> um, 30 times 16. So that's what? Three, is that 360? I can't really I do math. 360, 16 gig sticks. That's a lot. Yeah, it is. That's a lot of, and the, yeah, RAM's expensive. So I may have done bad math there. 16 times 30. I did really bad math, didn't I? I'm checking, I'm checking. Wait, what's, oh no, I, yeah, it's 390, right? Because six times. So you said 16. Six times 30. Oh, so okay. I did bad math again, 480, is that right? Wait, six times 30 you said? Is, yeah, 30 times 16. It's 480, right? Uh, correct. Right. I'm tired. So 30 times 16, correct? Yeah, right? Yeah. 30 times 16 is 480, yeah. Yeah, 480, so 480 sticks of RGB RAM that are 16 gigs each. Wow. That's a lot of RAM. Yeah, it is. So if that would have been missing, that would have been a problem because you saw, you, saw, you have the calculator on there right now? Are you, oh, you're using your phone? Yeah, okay. it was, it was. So Derek, do you, uh, I think 16 gig sticks are like RGB. I think they're like $60 each. So 60 times 480. 28,800. 28,800? Yeah, so this is a big chunk of the whole, whole lot. Wow. Um, and if it was missing, yeah, it'd be pretty bad. Okay, so we know it's in there. There's some video cards that we're gonna have to put away in lots of RAM, and we can just move on. So this pallet over here. Amazon. I don't think we need, really need to bust through it. Um, I think it's all power supplies up top. Yeah, I just made 50 watts. EVGA stuff up here. Yeah, it's like 850 watt EVGA power supply, so they're really nice. And then we've got a bunch of Lee and Lee cases. I think they're all minis. Yep. 
O11 Dynamic Mini. One, two, there's six there, plus two, there's eight O11 Dynamic Minis on this pallet. So that's, that's nice, very, very good stuff. Um, and then we got this pallet right here, and we got the rest of our Matrix 70 cases. Those are really nice cases. They're not like as well known, but they're, they're super nice. Uh, NZXT cases up here. All this stuff just looks brand new sealed, so I'm not, I don't want to mess with it. We're just going to put it away. Um, did I miss a pallet back there? I did, huh? I think it's all O11 Dynamics. Love that. So it's all, yeah, all brand new cases there. And then this, I think this is all brand new cases, but this is taped. Hmm. I'm going to worry about that one later because it's just one out of the whole thing that looks like it might be messed with. But lots of O11 Dynamic Minis on that pallet. And then we have just boxes. And this is pretty much, this stuff is pretty much the end. So this is the most interesting pallet I've looked through. I started looking through this earlier off camera and I moved some stuff over here that looked interesting. All these power supplies have notes on them saying that they're like RMA or whatever. There's some QL fans. I'm guessing that these are either like a, maybe a kit that got separated. Like maybe the person only needed one more so they had some extra fans left over. Those look okay. Um, this looks brand new. It's like a lighting kit. This RAM looks brand new. This RAM looks brand new. But then there's just like a stick of RAM here. That's kind of weird. And then a lot of this RAM looks brand new, but then also there's stuff like this bad pair, bad, bad. Let's see what these, these all, all of this RAM has stickers that says problems, no post fails testing. So this all, all this stuff looks like RMA stuff. Oh, CPUs. I did not see these before. Um, that says it's a Ryzen 9 on the sticker, but I can't see which one. You know what I'm going to do? 3200G. 3200G. Here's here's the um, the really special thing I'm going to do for all you guys at home. Because you guys are really going to want to know, right? So we take the little popcorn and we use that as our scrubber. <laughs> it works really bad. <laughs> it works so bad. It's a 5900X. Nice. Okay, so that probably doesn't work though, so that's not good. But if it works, who knows? There's a bunch of RAM, they all have stickers on them. So we're gonna have to go through all that stuff. Most likely, most of it's gonna be bad. And we'll have to just recycle it or sell it for parts or repair. Some people like to buy stuff like that and fix it. Um, try to get this thing out. empty bins basically okay and these are these are two bad AIOs they have the stickers on them it says like fail pump and stuff like that that's a shame Z73 X73 this is an expensive one though it sucks it doesn't work um, and then we've got this thing a lot of it's tools. like a shelf organizer yeah Ooh, a bunch of like uh, USB flash drives that have notes on them Windows that stuff always interests me to see like what what testing they were using. So I'll probably take these and put these on the side and put them, bring them inside and take a look. Have Kyle maybe take a look because you never know. Maybe they're using better. Maybe they had some testing things that were better than what we're using. Hey, look another. You know what? This is a better knife than what I've been using. I'm gonna use that for the rest of the video. Whatever is left of the video. So most of this is just junk, like little cables and stickers and stuff. And what is this, one pack, one Insta pack? That's like three bucks right there. Yeah. All right. Motherboard with a note. M2 drives do not work. Either slot tested multiple drives. And then there's not a motherboard. <laughs> it's a bad hard drive, another bad hard drive, bad SSDs. Well, at least it's organized. It's just funny that the note is so different though. Like, why is that note on here? Tricked ya. Surprise. It's not a motherboard. It's 
bunch of bad drives. Hey, a tripod. Another tripod. I think these are all like tripod bags, if I had to guess. Uh, and I believe this tripod does support a light. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, this look, a fan. Great okay. stealth. Yeah. We might use that. Use these once in a while. They're nice. Yeah, especially for like a low I build. So, mostly all cases. This is just empty. I mean, pretty much trash. Like, we don't need bags for lights. We found the lights the other day. I know where the lights are. Oh, really? really nice. But I don't know. I'll just leave this like this. I think this is like worry about it later type of stuff. I mean, I'll unpack everything later. That's true. Um, so that leaves us with these boxes. These be cards in this Porsche or has glass inside. Might be like a um, build that has an uh, edge side panel. It's really hard to tell. Let me lift it up and see how it feels. Mm, that's just a case. Okay, so it's a, it looks like it's just a brand new case that they never used. Here. It's a H710 and it's missing side panel and it's missing the front panel. Sweet. And I think we have those. Yep. Okay. So, a little note on there. Custom vinyls? Oh, interesting. Just a case, but it's missing glass. Okay, same thing. It's missing a side panel and a front panel. And it's empty, it doesn't have any parts in it. Weird. <laughs> Taped, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so. We'll start here. Yeah, that looks like original tape. And there's no note on this one at all. I think this I think this just got lumped in. So we'll put this note in here. Guys, it's hot out here. Help. Is that helpful? Snow it was a snow edition. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got. Alright, so we got So this one has a note that says USB C causes board shorts. 
board shorts, like for swimming? Yes, definitely. So if you use it, you're... I don't even have a good joke for this. Um, <laughs> board shorts. Okay. So that is a problem. I, well, so the good news is we've gone through probably a thousand plus H710s in the past year. And we should have the, there's a, the front panel, the whole thing. You can take that off of the whole uh, case and swap it out for a new one. And we, I think we have probably like 50 brand new ones in the warehouse. So um, we'll just swap it out, make it good again, make call it a reefer. Yes, yeah. Okay, this pallet's done. Which literally means that we just have this and we're done. We can wrap up this video. I'm sure people are ready. Things were like exciting at the beginning and then it's like, oh, these guys are getting tired. They've been doing this for hours. Um, okay, so we have three computer systems here. That's, that's like very duct taped on. Yeah, so this is pretty interesting. It's missing the glass side panel. It's an H710, oh yeah, H710, it's very dirty. Oh my God, dude, look at all that dirt in there. So my first guess is that this was an internal use computer, but this could be an R-made system that they sold like a long time ago. Um, so we're gonna have to go through this. We're gonna go, every computer that's a build, we're gonna go through it anyway. And we're gonna check the drive to see if there's data on it because there's, we're like done and we literally found no RMA computers, which is crazy. We were actually expecting there to be quite a few and we've literally not found one computer that said it was an RMA for a whole system. So maybe this one was an RMA, it's missing the glass side panel. So that's a little strange, but we'll check this uh, NVMe drive and see if there's any person's data or we can maybe get their email address or their phone number and reach out to them. There's like spider webs in there too. So something's strange about this one. Um, and then we've got this computer. Hmm. New Office PC, 11600K plus H570 motherboard. Is that right? No. That can't be right. Actually, I think that is. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Why would you put an 11600K and an H570, maybe Z590? H570 though, you don't put a K series CPU in there. Maybe that's what they did. Uh, yes, it's a H H570 Phantom Gaming 4. That's okay. Board. Well, I think we'll take that CPU out. Assuming this is, yeah, this is an off, so we'll have to rebuild this and sell this because this was an office computer that they had, according to the note. So we'll just take that CPU out, probably put like a 10400F in there because that's an H570 motherboard. It doesn't make sense to put a K with a non-Z motherboard and you can't even overclock. True. Uh, it has some RAM in there. Anyway, we'll just rebuild it as a gaming PC. So that's, this is actually nice. I mean, it looks brand new. There's, they probably just built this and used it. And uh, there's still like plastic wrap on it and stuff. And then this also looks pretty newish. The fans do not look dirty. Um, we don't know what's inside, but we could see Corsair AIO, is it a, it's a 280, it looks like. Uh, it's not RGB fans, so it's not one of the higher end ones. And I can't tell you how big the SSD is because it doesn't say on there, but it's a B560 Pro motherboard. Uh, so probably an i5 or an i3. Probably i5 if it has a 280 millimeter water cooler. But it's probably like an i5, you know, 10 400F or something in there if I had to guess. So this is kind of a, this is, this is a weird combination of parts. Higher end case, lower end motherboard, no video card. So we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do with that. Oops, sorry, here. Actually, we could use that for the photo booth. Yeah, it's very lazy, Susan. Yes. It's not very good. Very well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> anyway, I think we're gonna cut the video. All right, guys, I'm uh, I'm tired. We've been doing this for like three days straight and I'm probably blabbing right now, but we've literally gone through every pallet from today, 26 pallets. 
We've showed you every pallet. We've opened every box that needs to be opened. And we have a lot more work to do, just putting things on the shelf, counting things and checking our software to make sure we got what we, what we ordered. But I do feel pretty good overall. I think, you know, going off my gut feeling, my memory of what I ordered, not looking at spreadsheets, but just my brain. Um, I think we got all the stuff we were expecting, and I think we got a lot more, mainly with those SR3 dark motherboards. So I'm pretty happy with that all. We, but uh, anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, maybe we'll find some other stuff that when we open more boxes that we'll come back and make another video about. Bye. All right, you thought the video was over. Not quite. Future Alex is here with a news flash. If I was really good at video editing, there'd be like stuff going over the screen, but I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, um, so in the last video I posted, I mentioned that there is a rumor going around that an employee snuck into Artesian Builds, North Carolina, and shipped out a bunch of the RMAs before, uh, sorry, after they had closed the doors. So they're like, you know, no one can come back to the company doors are locked and shut or whatever well apparently someone was able to somehow get into the building and um ship out the rmas so that's actually awesome for all those people that would have had rmas there because i was also told that most of the rmas would all go to north carolina to be processed in north carolina not to oakland um and also i was told by a different employee uh that was there as well that they were focusing on shipping rmas out in the days leading up to closing because they had a bad feeling about it. Even though they were told not to do that, they defied the management and did it anyway because they knew it was good for the people. So um, while that is not necessarily good for content for me, if I'm trying to be like a YouTuber person or invite, like work with like more famous YouTubers to try to get the RMAs back because that would make good videos, it's actually, to me, much better news because it means those people did not get screwed over. And that's what's important in my opinion so uh just wanted to and sorry everything i said about a guy sneaking into the warehouse and shipping our maze out and all this stuff it's it's all uh hypothetical or you know i, I don't have any way of knowing a hundred percent it's hearsay you could say right so i'm gonna take my camera off and i posted this video today and someone when i said that someone has already replied to me on my youtube channel here publicly and said the Destiny YouTube channel had a call with some of the ex-employees, meaning ex-employees from Artesian Builds, North Carolina, and apparently the rumors are true. One employee stayed behind the day after he was fired and tried to ship as many RMAs as possible. Hearing such stuff restores my faith in humanity. If we're lucky, all RMAs have already been returned. Yes, that is really good news to hear. Again, I have no way of confirming what is true or not true, but all I know is that I went through every single box, North North Carolina and Oakland, and the only computers that seem like they might have been RMAs are those really dirty ones I just showed you at the end of this video, and I honestly don't even think those are RMAs. So we will go through them all. If we end up finding data, then cool. We'll, at that point, if, it, if we can figure out whose computer it is, we will fix it and send it back to them if we can get their address and all that stuff and it, it, there's not a huge problem for us to deal with. We got a lot of hookups on this. We got all that memory you just saw. We got those SR3 dark motherboards. We got in-win WinBot cases. There's all sorts of things for us to be happy about and to be thankful for and give back to the community with. And we will also be doing a giveaway with some of the, at least one of these computers and some other things. So that will be a future video we'll be probably announcing in the next week. Anyway, video is over. I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be tomorrow, I believe.